One common question we get asked is how you schedule content to play at specific times on specific days or at select times throughout the year. This tutorial will show you the entire process of scheduling content in the Rise Display Network and hopefully answer any and all questions you may have on the subject. All content scheduling is done at the playlist item level, meaning that for each item you include in a playlist, you can assign a specific schedule to that item. One thing to always keep in mind when scheduling content is the refresh rate of the placeholder that you're going to be putting this playlist into. Click on the placeholder that you are going to be putting this playlist into. Placeholders have refresh rates of either 10 or 30 minutes, which means that the placeholder checks to see if there is any updated content in all playlists that are playing in this placeholder every 10 or 30 minutes. Click on the playlist page to go to our example playlist. In our playlist example, you can see that we have no playlist items. The process of scheduling is identical for every type of content that you add to a playlist. Let's add and schedule an image file. Choose image from the media library and click next. Now click select on the image that you would like to schedule. Upon pressing select, you'll see that the image moves over to your selected images section. Before we proceed to the sequence and scheduling section, I want to briefly discuss what the display properties section represents. Display properties does not assign a schedule. The time listed here is the time that the item will remain on the display before it goes to the next item in the playlist. For images, the default value is 10 seconds, and for most other content items, including video and live elements such as news, sports, financials, and weather, it is play until done. For example, if you schedule this image to play for 24 hours, that means that it will play for 24 hours and then move to the next item in the playlist. If you have multiple items in this same playlist, it will not cycle through to those other items until the 24 hour period for this item is over. The sequence and schedule section is where you will assign this item to a schedule. You can see in the schedule section that by default the radio button for 24 seven is selected. We are going to change this to use schedule. Once we have selected Use Schedule, we get a few more options to choose from, so let's cover each one of those entirely. The first is Start Date and End Date, and by default the No End Date checkbox is checked. If the image was only supposed to play from a specific start date to a specific end date, you could assign that here. Let's use the example start date of today and ending in one week, which is the 24th. Since we've stated that the end date is the 24th, when the placeholder playing this playlist refreshes for the very first time on the 25th, it will see this item is no longer listed to play and it will stop playing it. Now let's look at the daily selection. Daily is fairly self-explanatory. Choose to play the item every so many days. For example, we will choose every two days. That means that if the start date is today, the image will play today, not tomorrow, but again the day after tomorrow, and so on in that manner every two days. For the weekly option, choose the days of the week that you would like the image to play, or choose to play every so many weeks. For monthly, you can choose the day of every so many months for when the item should be playing, or be even more specific. Remember, when the placeholder refreshes for the very first time when it is inside the time window you have selected, the image will start showing. Once the placeholder refreshes the very first time outside of that time window, it will stop showing. Yearly is useful for items such as birthdays or yearly milestones and works very similarly to the other options. Simply choose the date when you want the image to show. Next we have the time, start and stop options. If you would prefer the item not go all day and instead be within a unique time window, you can choose the start and stop time for that playlist item uncheck all day and then choose the start and end time. 
One thing I would like to make very clear is that the content item, in this case an image, will not stop exactly at the specified end time. When the placeholder playing this playlist refreshes for the very first time after the specified stop time has passed, it will see this item is no longer listed to play and it will stop playing it. This time may be up to 30 minutes after the scheduled stop time. For example, let's schedule this item to play from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. If the placeholder that this playlist is playing in refreshes at 5.01 p.m., the placeholder will see that it is no longer supposed to be playing this playlist item and will no longer show it. If the placeholder refreshes at 4.59 p.m. and has a refresh rate of 30 minutes, it will not refresh again until 5.29 p.m., during which the scheduled item will continue to play. A similar situation would occur at 8 a.m. if the placeholder refreshed before or after that time. You can also select the time zone that this item plays in or simply leave it as the appliance's time zone. The appliance time zone is based upon the location that you specified when registering the appliance. It is not the actual PC time on the computer. Now when we press save and close and go back to our playlist, we will see that the item shows with a schedule as per what we specified, which in this case was yearly. I hope this answers any questions you have in regards to playlist item scheduling, and thank you for watching.